first step to any setup is to remove the old strings. Start by loosening the string and removing the ball end from the bridge once the tension is low enough. Under no circumstances should you cut the strings before they are all first loosened. With the strings removed, it is now time to clean the fingerboard. Warwick bases are available in a variety of fingerboards, both in dark and light woods. Dark woods can be cleaned with a cloth and special fingerboard oil available from a guitar retailer. It is important to note that maple fingerboards or other light colored woods require special attention. For dark woods, apply the fret oil to each fret with an applicator pad or cloth. Wipe the excess oil from the fingerboard with a separate cloth. Once the fingerboard is clean, the next step is putting on the new strings. Warwick offers four different lines of electric bass strings to meet your playing needs. The strings we will be using in this video are Warwick's EMP strings, which have excellent tone and long life due to their advanced coating. We ship our basses with medium gauge strings ranging from 0.135 on our 5 string models to 0.045. If you intend to use a larger gauge than 0.25, make sure it has a tapered core. A large core will not properly fit with Warwick's 3D bridge system, which is specifically designed to make adjusting intonation easier. When restringing your bass equipped with Warwick's Just a Nut, you should start with the inner strings, saving the outer strings for last. Place the ball end in the tailpiece and run it along the neck. Measure and cut 8 centimeters past the machine head. Place the string end in the machine head post, bend it, and begin winding, all while keeping tension on the string. Once all of the strings are installed, you may tune your bass. Keep in mind that new strings will take a while to set and may need to be retuned until they have settled. New strings can change the action or tension on the neck, so be sure to watch the following tutorials on how to check and adjust the neck for bowing and set the action for your bass.